I'm Sean Witherspoon and this is Copper Drop. All right, so we're looking at 815 undercover boots. I like those, are they made out of rubber? I like those, I'm copping. I'm copping for like winter use, deep snow, rain. I'm picturing that outfit like, okay, I'm legit like using these boots to like shovel some snow or like muck the, muck the stalls in the barn. Oh, what? Damn. If it's vegan, I'm copping. I mean, no questions asked. Push-ups are, wow. No one's even brought one of those up in like, 15 years, I mean, that was, dude, in elementary school, that was the shit. Like, if you didn't get a push-up in line, like, what were you thinking? Wow, man, it was so good, and you would just push them up. Doubt they're vegan, but man, if they were, I'm copping. I wouldn't cop it personally, but I, like, I appreciate that, it's tight. Someone will kill it. I think uh, the only thing I ever had with tassels was actually those Ronnie Feig Sabagos. This had like tassels on the side. I remember. Yeah, this. not really about the whole, yeah. Huh. Those are dope, I would cop, yeah, for sure. I like that they're a little higher too. White t-shirt, not too loud of sneakers, I'm in. Dope yes. brand. Dude, yo, bottoms are honestly one of our best sellers too. In the vintage store or the main store. Like, yo, and it's our hardest to display though. So there's this like constant struggle with bottoms where they're like nearly impossible for us to display. You can do the hangers and like have them hanging, but it looks like the susceptibility for that to look ugly is right there. Like someone messes with it for one second, everything's ugly. And so I'm like constantly struggling with like, what's the most effective way to display bottoms? Cause everyone needs them. Anytime we have them displayed, they're gone, dude. Yeah. Super slept on article of clothing, at least in like the retail environment. What? Damn, that's crazy. I'm I mean, I would cop that for sure. If we're talking endless money, yeah, I'm copping that. Wonder who's got that up there. How did you find that? You're just scrolling through. You're in the eBay black hole one night. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. Man, I go hard. Yeah. It's sick. What's like the craziest thing you probably bought? Out? Craziest? Man, I don't know. Craziest isn't really coming to my mind, but sheer amount of product. One night I bought 235 items one night. Just going in, dude. Cause I like, I'll just be like finding vintage and I'll find, I'm like, I'll think of a category and I'm like, oh my God. And then I'll look it up and I'm like, they're selling it so cheap. And I'll just like, and like buy them all. And I'm like obsessed, you know? But then you keep finding shit. So it's like, sometimes I'll find a seller and it's like, I'll search like the newly listed stuff, right? Boom, something pops up and it's like, maybe a dope wrap tee for like pretty cheap. And I'm like, fuck. So like you buy it so it doesn't go obviously, but then you go to more items from that seller and you find out you're like, damn, this dude from the UK has got like 64 items that I want, like the all of them of. So it's like you go through and it's, man, I'll, it, I love eBay. It's a 24 hour flea market. I could get into segways. Whoa, that's crazy. That's next level. I'm copping that. Yeah. Endless money situation, for sure copping that. That's like us taking that step into 2040, like where they thought we would be, you know? <sighs> to I'm, I'm dropping. I couldn't do it. Love Martine Rose, but I, this is not my style. It's, that's crazy. Like slip on, the convertible back, denim. Again, someone's copping. Man, I'm so bad at fashion, fashion. I don't even understand high fashion. Just don't even get it. My most fashionable thing. I got a Prada Puka shell necklace that I love. That's hard. I, I love that. it so much. It's one of my favorite. That's my most fashionable piece though, if you want to ask. Oh, I haven't seen these. Can I see that? I'm copping. For sure, I'm gonna copy it when we leave here. I might not even use them, but to me that is like, that is so sick because that's like this super high fashion company like recognizing the world trying to make this shift. And granted, maybe they're like capitalizing on it and putting it out there and stuff like that. But it's like, dude, that's to me, that's like a, uh, that's like a sign of the times. I'm looking them up when I get out of here. <laughs> Those are sick, yeah. yeah. Wow, sick. So who's it signed by? Alicia Silverstone, Paul Rudd. I, I wasn't a huge Clueless fan, but I feel like I would cop. I would probably cop because that's huge. I would want to cop it just to like flex on a Clueless fan. Uh, signed something? I have like a, I got this 80s um, Keith Haring hat that's signed by him. 
he like drew a character on it, like on the brim, signed it, dated it, and I like love that. I have a Tony Hawk signed board that I love. Oh man, I got a zoo. No, my favorite, yo, my favorite signed thing. Uh, we used to go to all the, the demos when we were younger, and Zoo York came to Frederick, Maryland. We went to the Zoo York one, dude, and Harold Hunter was there, and he was like freestyling and doing all this crazy shit. We have a picture of me and my homie Quincy, like, Harold Hunter's like this, you know, and Quincy's here, I'm here, and he's like freestyling, and we were so hyped, but he signed the shirt, and uh, on the back, like each, you know, Zared signed it, all these dudes signed it, Brian Brown, like really small, and then Harold Hunter signed it huge. He's like, everyone's gonna see my name, and I love that. That's like one of my favorite signed pieces. I've had it forever. Love that. This is tight, dude. This is really tight. I, I love it. I would cop. I think it's great. I like that there's very minimal branding too, except when you do the backlight. Supreme's great at that. I don't know shit. I know t-shirts, shorts, sneakers. I'll do some antique advertising signs. I love turn of the century advertising. Dude, porcelain signs and stuff, that's like my true crazy collection. I would love for someone to do like a collection video of my antiques, dude. So unexpected, right? I'm out here for my Prince drop, which is pretty sick. Uh, pretty proud of like the Prince tennis collab. I think it was like a cool perspective on tennis, but um, I mean, you know, shout out round two. That's my, that's my fam right there. So just always shout out round two and thanks for having me high snob, you know?